नमस्ते एंड वेलकम टू दिस मॉड्यूल ऑन गेमिफिकेशन इन जिनोमियो मूडल आफ्टर कंप्लीशन ऑफ दिस मॉड्यूल द लर्नर्स विल बी एबल टू लिस्ट वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ गेम्स अवेलेबल इन जिनोमियो मूडल क्रिएट वेरियस गेम्स इन जिनोमियो मूडल कोर्स एंड ट्रांसफॉर्म लर्निंग इन टू एंजॉयबल एक्सपीरियंस थ्रू गेमिफिकेशन नाउ let us see what is gamification it is motivating and engaging the learners to learn through games learning through games is enjoyable experience and helps students to test their knowledge gain of specific topic in short gamification is game based learning now it is time to reflect and think on this question what advantages do you feel that game based learning offers in teaching learning process pause the video think on this question record your answer in record book and when you are done with your writing of answer then play this video again now let's see what are the advantages of game based learning game based learning motivates the learners it increases competitiveness it enhances cooperative learning because the students can come together to play one of the games it also improves attentiveness of the students it can bring fun in learning it increases memory and it consolidates their understanding so having seen these advantages of game based learning now let's see which games are available in jinomio moodle games available are crossword cryptex hangman hidden picture millionaire snakes and ladders and sudoku you might have played these games before and this can be used in our teaching learning process and this can be called as game pedagogy now let's have the demo for introduction of various games in your jinomio moodle course for this let us log in into our pedagogy and course let us click on this site after logging in into the course you have to turn editing on once you have done this let us go to the wix 6 and there we can add an activity or resource now you can see the various games given over here crossword cryptex hangman hidden picture millionaire snakes and ladders and sudoku so let us go to the first game called as crossword but before that let us not forget to add glossary glossary module enables participants to create and maintain a list of definitions like a dictionary therefore we need to add it you can add a word and its description or definition over here for example i will add pedagogy so pedagogy is a science or art of teaching so i will add this and i will save and return to course now you can see pedagogy is over here already i have added some glossary over here so that we can save time now when you are adding something like this to save it from seeing by your students you need to hide it okay so now let us go to add and game so i will go for the crossword i will add it so we are creating a crossword puzzle what i am going to use the source of questions is glossary i am using glossary now you can say this there are some options of crosswords how many columns and rows you require how many words and all that 
but I'm keeping it blank because whatever questions I am having in my glossary, those will be taken by it, okay. So I'm just saving and returning to course. So you can see the crossword is created. Now first I will hide it from the students because I need to check whether there is any problem with the crosswords. So I will just attempt and see how the crossword game has been created. So I will attempt the game now. So you can see this is a crossword puzzle which has been created. So we have 1, 6 and 10. So here 1, 6 and 10, 3 across words and 1 downward which has been taken at 3. So if I want to attempt this, I will have to click here. So this one is a 8 letter word and it is software for creating. So I have taken 8 letter word Camtasia which can create the videos. So I will say, okay, so it has been answered. Now I can go to another word, this one, the down word. So the question is, it is digital student response system that can be used in class. So it is Mentimeter, okay. Now I will face this four letter word, which is massive open online course. So it is MOOC. Now the last word, is nine later word okay so it is content management system for creating your own web and that is wordpress so you can see that we have done our crossword you can check it so we have done our crossword so you can go for the new game now let us go for another great game I will go for the game called as Cryptex and this is like a crossword only but it is the answer are hidden inside a random Cryptex therefore it is called as a Cryptex so let's see how the game is. So Cryptex I am once again using the glossary for this okay so I am going to save and return to course. Now the game Cryptex is created, let us attempt it and see whether it is right or wrong. Okay, so this is what we have got a crossword and we have to find out the words. So here you can see it is a software for creating videos, so I want to give the answer. So my answer is Camtasia, I will say okay to this. So you can see that Camtasia, okay, now I will attempt for second. So it is a digital response system that can be used in class. So it is Mentimeter. So I will click OK. Now the third word, it is a massive open online course. So it's a MOOC. So I will click OK for this. So my answer is WordPress for this. So you can see this is the fourth word which is there and you have done this. Okay. So you can see it is congratulating note has also come. So you have created the second game. Now let us add the game Millionaire. It is like that of Kaun Manega Karodpati. So let us add this. So it is a millionaire game. Here the source of questions cannot be glossary because it requires more question and it should have the options. So I can give questions or quiz. So let me take the questions. So which question category I am going to use? So we have 44 questions over here, so I am using it, okay, and then you, are, you can have this millionaire options where the question needs to be randomized or not, we can say yes, and then I will save this and return to the course. Now I will click this million, millionaire game and I will attempt it. You can see this, you have different steps, the 15 questions will be asked, the first question if you answered properly you will get 100 rupees, 200 rupees, like this it is going to increase and if you answer all 15 questions right then you can earn 1 lakh 50 thousand rupees. So here 50-50, phone a friend, audience poll, these are the lifelines which are given to you. So the students involved in a group discussion learn through, saying and doing. So this is a multiple option. 
So I will select writing and doing as a fourth option. And it is a right answer, so I have got 100 marks. Now Moodle is dash. So this is what we have the options, but I am not confident what I should write, so I can even select 50-50. So you can see this 50-50 has been, so two question, options have gone. Now I have to select any one from this. So I will select this. And yes, we have won. We have gone up, up to 300. Now this is the another question. Creating a video focuses on a single concept. So I will use the phono friend because I am confused with these options. So you can use it. So I'm using phono friend. So you can see here, I think that the correct answer is single concept that can be captured in less than 10 minutes. So you can see single concept and all that. So you either you have to believe on the phono friend or you can use your own this one. So I will select this option B. And yes, our answer was very right. So we have gone from 300 to 400. Now we have having one lifeline that is help of the people or audience poll. So assessment evaluation of students should promote rote learning, make students remember model. So from all these options, I want to take this D option. Computer is pay tala lagaya jai. And yes, I have won it. So likewise, you can create interest in learning by the student. Now for this collaborative learning is dash pedagogical technique. So I don't know. So I can use the audience poll. What audience is going to say on this? So you can see for blended learning, 32% are saying passive learning, 18% are saying active learning, 42%. So I need to take this active learning, collaborative learning is Yes, and I am feeling that I should take active learning. Let's see whether it is right or wrong. And yes, that is right and we have gone up to 1000. So this is another question. So my dear friends, you have will be asked 15 questions till you go for 150,000 rupees and the students will be more interested to solve these type of questions. So you can utilize millionary game into your pedagogy. Now we can see how snakes and ladders can be added. Here a question is displayed to the student which answered correctly displays a number on the dice then game piece moves up the number displayed on the dice. Okay, so let's add this game. Snakes and ladders require lot many of questions so I will select the questions over here. So here, so 124 questions are there from which we can get the questions. Okay, so you also have snakes and ladders. There are various options. You can create 8 by 8, 6 by 6, 6 by 8 by 8, 4 snakes, 4 ladders. So I am going to select 4 snakes and 4 ladders and then I am creating this game. So colleagues, you can see this type of snakes and ladder game is created. The question is asked. Dash is useful for web content creation. So you have to choose the answer. I'm choosing this. If my answer is correct, we will be moving four places from one. Let's see. So I've, our answer was right. So we have moved four places. Now the question is for two places. That is which of the following settings need to be checked before publishing page in WordPress site. Visibility categories publish or all of the above. So if you rightly give the answers, then slowly, slowly you can move the process and then you can finally reach 64. So the students will be able to answer the questions and win this game. Dear colleagues, game hangman, hidden picture and sudoku has been remaining. In case of hangman, you can use the glossary and here how many later words are there in a letter that will be told so you can explore this hangman you can explore hidden picture and even you can explore sudoku on your own hope you have enjoyed this 
adding of games into your Moodle accounts. Thank you. And